Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on three variable Carnap map. Okay, first problem simplify the following Boolean function using k map. Okay, f of a comma b comma c is equal to sigma m of 0 comma 1 comma 3 comma 5. Here sigma means sum of small m means min terms. So sum of min terms, 0th min term, 1st min term, 3rd min term and 5th min term. Okay. So here in the given function, how many number of variables are there? 3 variables are there. So based on the number of variables, we are using the corresponding Carnap map. So, three variables are there. Hence, we have to use three variable Carnap map. Okay. So, it is a general representation of three variable Carnap map. Okay. Here, in the row side, we are using only one variable A. In the column side, we are using two variables BC. Okay. Here, only one variable is there. One variable can take either 0 value or 1 value. Here two variables are there. Two variables, how many number of possibilities? Four possibilities. So that is 0, 0, 0, 1. Here 1, 1. Here 1, 0. Okay. Here we do not write 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Because... In the Carnap map, we have to follow the gray code. Okay. So, in the gray code, the sequence is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. Now, this cell represents 0, 0, 0. That means triple 0. The decimal equivalent value is 0. Okay. Next one, this cell represents 0, 0, 1. So, 0, 0, 1. Decimal equivalent value is a 1. Next one, 0, 1, 1. That is a 0, double 1. The decimal equivalent value is 3. Next one, 0, 1, 0. So, 0, 1, 0. Decimal equivalent value is 2. Next one, 1, double 0. So, 1, 0, 0. Decimal equivalent value is 4. Okay. Next one, 1, 0, 1. So, 1, 0, 1. Decimal equivalent value is 5. Next one, 1, double 1. So, triple 1. Decimal equivalent value is 7. Next one, 1, 1, 0. That is 1, 1, 0. Decimal equivalent value is 6. Okay. So, now, what are the min terms they are given? Okay. So, 0 min term, 1 min term, 3rd min term and 5th min term. Okay, so here 0 min term here, 1 min term here, third, 3 min term here, 5 min term here. Okay, in the corresponding min terms place, we are placing value 1. So 0 min term, we are placing value 1. First min term, we are placing value 1. Third min term, we are placing value 1. Fifth min term, we are placing value 1. Okay, now... Once we are inserting the value 1 at the corresponding min terms in the 3 variable Carnap map, first we have to check for octet. Octet means adjacency of 8 ones. Okay, here 8 ones are not there. Okay, next we have to check for quad. Quad means adjacency of 4 ones. So, here four ones are not adjacent. Okay. So, next, next priority given for pair. Pair means adjacency of two ones. Okay. Yes. Here, these two ones can be formed as a pair. Next one, these two ones can be formed as a pair. Next, these two ones can be formed as a pair. Okay. So, how many number of pairs? 
we are getting so this is the so suppose this is the pair p next this is pair q next this is pair r okay so three pairs we are getting what is the minimal expression we are getting from the pair p pair q and pair r first consider consider p okay so consider p okay so here this is p this one means 0 0 0 0 0 0 next this one means 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay so here a, a, a variable a variable b variable c okay now consider first column c column c column contains combination of zeros and ones so now we have to ignore that column because this column contains a combination of zeros and ones next consider b column b column contains only zeros okay yes we have to consider that column in that column b value is zero b value zero means we are getting b bar next one consider a column a column contains all zeros so hence we have to consider that column in that column what is a value zero a value zero means a bar okay so therefore p is equal to so a bar b bar okay next consider q consider q okay so q means this pair so this one is 0 0 1 0 0 1 so this one means 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is variable a variable b variable c okay now under c column contains only ones hence we have to consider that column okay under c column what is the value of c one so that we are getting c under b column combination of zeros and ones are there we have to ignore that column next under a column only zeros are there we have to consider that column under that a column a value zero means we are getting a bar okay so therefore q is equal to a bar c okay next one consider pair r consider r okay so r pair means this one 101 101 next this one means 101 so this one means 001 sorry 001 so this one means 101 101 so this is a a this is a b this is a c under c column it contains only ones so that we have to consider that column under the c column it contains only ones we are getting c c value one means we are getting c under b column combination of uh, only zeros are there so that we have to consider that column under that column b value is zero that means b bar under a column combination of zeros and ones are there we have to ignore that column so then what is the expression we are getting r is equal to b bar c so therefore f of a b c is equal to sigma m of 0 comma 1 comma 3 comma 5 is equal to p plus q plus r what is p value a bar b bar a bar b bar plus what is q value a bar c what is r value b bar c okay so this is the minimal expression we are getting after simplifying this uh, function okay next one second problem simplify the following boolean function using k map okay so here in the same fashion we are writing here a here b c 
A contains either zero value or one value. Here B, C contains four possibilities: zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Why we are following one, one? Next one, zero. Here we have to follow the gray code. Okay. Next here, this is zero, one, three, two, four, five, seven, six. Here, pi means product. Capital M means max terms. Product of max terms. Okay. What are the max terms we are given? Second max term, four max term, sixth max term, and seventh max term. How many number of variables are there? Three variables are there. Now we have to use three variable Carnot map for simplifying that Boolean function. Here, product of max terms are given. So, okay, whatever the max terms are given, at the corresponding max terms, we are placing zeros instead of ones. Okay, whenever here sum of min terms, we are placing ones. Okay. Whenever we are given product of max terms, we are placing zeros instead of ones. Okay, second max term. Second means this one. So we are placing zero, not one. Okay, so zero we are placing. Next one, fourth max term. Here four, so we are placing zero. Next, sixth max term, we are placing zero. Seventh max term, we are placing zero. Okay, so now how we are uh, first we have to check for octal. Octal means adjacency of eight zeros. So there is no possibility of adjacency of eight zeros. Okay, next we check for adjacency of four ones that four zeros that is quad. Here four zeros are there but four zeros are not adjacent. Next, we check for pair. Pair means adjacency of two zeros either in row wise or in column wise. Okay, so here two zeros are there in column wise. They can be formed as a pair. Okay, next one, this zero is combined with this zero, then they can be formed as a pair. Okay. So, this 0 can be combined with the 0 already in the pair. Okay. No problem at all. Next one. This is single 0. This 0 can be formed with this 0. Then they can be formed as a pair. Okay. So, whenever this chart can be folded in the middle. Okay. This 0 can be opposite to this 0 then they can be formed as a pair. Okay, next one. So now this can, this pair is P, this pair is Q, next this pair is R. Okay, so now what is the expression we are getting? So consider P. Consider P. Okay, so here this 0 means 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0. Next, this 0 means 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. Okay. This is variable A, variable B, variable C. Okay. Under C column, it contains only zeros. Hence, we consider that column. In that column, okay, what is the C value? C value is 0. C value is 0 means we can write it as C because product of max terms are given. In the product of max terms, okay, C value 0 means we have to write C. C value 1 means we have to write C bar. Okay, please remember that point. It is very, very important point. Next, under B column, it contains only 1s. So, we have to consider that column. B value 1 means we are getting B bar. Okay. Next, under A column, combination of zeros and 1s are there. We have to ignore that column. Okay. So, in between them, we have to write plus. Because here we are getting product terms. Here we are getting sum terms. Okay. Sum term means in between them, we have to write plus. Okay. Next one. 
सो देर फॉर पी इज इक्वल टू बी बार प्लस सी ओके नेक्स्ट कंसिडर कंसिडर क्यू ओके सो क्यू मीन्स दिस वन दिस जीरो मीन्स वन 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 दिस जीरो मीन्स वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो दिस इज ए बी सी अंडर सी कॉलम कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ जीरो वी हैव टू इग्नोर दट कॉलम अंडर बी कॉलम कंटेन्स ओनली वन वी हैव टू कंसिडर दट कॉलम अंडर दट कॉलम बी वैल्यू इज वन मीन्स we are getting b bar next under a column only ones are there we have to consider that column in that column a value one means a bar in between them we have to write plus because it is a sum term q is equal to a bar plus b bar next one consider r column consider r column so a b c okay r means this zero this zero this zero means 100 100 this zero means 110 110 okay under c column it contains only zeros hence we have to consider that column in that column c value zero means c under b column combination of zeros and ones are there we have to ignore that column Under A column only ones are there. We have to consider that column. In that column, A value one means that is A bar. In between them, we have to write plus. Therefore, R is equal to A bar plus C. Okay. Next. Therefore, what is the minimal expression we are getting? F of A comma B comma C is equal to pi m of two comma four comma. Six comma seven is equal to so p into q into r because product of sums. Okay, so what is p? B bar plus c. What is q? A bar plus b bar. What is r? A bar plus c. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, so this is the product of max term. This is sum of min terms. We have clearly defined the differences between the uh, sum of products and product of max terms. In the sum of in the sum of products, that means uh, sum of min terms. Sum of min terms. We are placing ones at the corresponding min terms. Here, product of max terms. In, at the corresponding max terms, we are placing zeros. Okay. Next, pairing or octal or quad. So same procedure we have to follow. But in this case, okay, c bar value is equal to one. One means c bar. Zero means c. In this case, one means c. Zero means c bar. Okay. That is the important point. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. So, Divya Sri Nivasarao.